welcome to this week's episode of Just Wing It's Racing Series. Today we're doing it a little different. For a change I'm going to review both the stock standard car and the fully modified car. Speaking of which, let me introduce you to the 1953 Chevy Corvette. I kind of do like this car. Most classic American muscle cars I like in general. There is just an art to them. Something that is no longer really seen. The style is very unique to the era and even when this particular style is brought back in modern times, it's all wrong. Very few manufacturers actually get it right. I must say though, the modern Mustang came pretty close. I have never driven this car, so I am unsure what you actually expect. I am assuming it is not going to be very fast, obviously comparing to today's cars. I chose this car today due to the weekly challenge in Forza Horizon 4 as you can see. I think this is going to be fun. So let's see what this old fart can do. So far a very slow pull away. Actually kind of funny. But when it gets to the power band it launches like the Starship Enterprise going into warp. Now this is interesting. Only two gears. Honestly I'm not that surprised as I have heard of this before. In terms of top speed, my 1997 1300 Toyota Taz was quite a bit faster. That is, of course, assuming that the speedometer was accurate. The handling is actually not too bad. I have noticed something I've never noticed in any other car so far is that I have to lift the accelerator pedal when at top speed. I believe this is because the gear ratio is not optimized. I am assuming that they used a generic gearbox that is used in other cars. So this isn't really ideal in my opinion. Please if there are any car enthusiasts out there or even mechanics who are familiar with this car all this era of cars. Tell me what you know. I'm very interested to hear. Comment below. I am also curious to know if you wanted to push this car to the limits in real life, would the engine survive being redlined for so long? If that is the case, would the top speed actually be just below the red line?
Back in the day, I'm sure this would have been an awesome car to cruise around. Alright, let's mod it a bit. I'm not exactly an engineer or mechanic. My knowledge of modding is limited, but I do know a few small tricks. I'm sure there are players here who know exactly what to do to maximize performance. I am not one of those players. Just FYI, that was not my choice of visual customization. I will fix it soon in this video. I had bought this car as it is. I have decided not to fast forward this process as I'm sure there will be viewers who will appreciate this. Feel free to fast forward at this part. You can fast forward to 14 minutes.
Alright, now that that is done, let's see what this baby can do now. Already a massive difference. Although I wouldn't want to do these kind of speeds in a convertible. The car is a lot more stable than I expected. I seem to be saying that a lot in my videos lately. I do apologize, my PC is starting to lag, so expect a few crashes. This is quite fun. <laughs> I nearly lost it there. I must say, this car is like driving a tank with a rocket engine on a frozen over lake with drag tires. Okay, that was close. I scored on drift points though, that's a bonus.
All right, that had to happen. I was kind of expecting that. So as you can see, modernizing the car actually does work, although I'm not sure how realistic that is. Whoops, trading paint. Let's do the minimal downforce run. You can see it makes quite a big difference in top speed. I expect I'm going to have quite a few crashes now. This is a bit insane, I can't imagine what the driver must be feeling. I tried to avoid that, but no. This car is still a tank after all. Overall this car has been a joy to drive. I am impressed considering how old it actually is. For its era, I think this is definitely a classic. I didn't even see that car. To all the teenagers out there, do not drive like this in real life, please. 
Obey the rules of the road and stay alive. Okay, that was my bad. I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. Ooh, okay, that was good. And that's a wrap. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share and click on notifications.